We don't just want to make changes now, we want to be a people that are considering the future too. We want to respond to immediate needs that we see through the Love Eastbourne funds, through reducing energy costs in the next 12 months, but ultimately, where is our future taking us? Number one to say is the King Centre is our home. We have loved making it our home over the last 30 years. And once again, we are so grateful for the generosity of men and women that have enabled us to initially purchase this building, to pay off the mortgage, and to invest in this long-term resource and asset that has been a huge blessing. Thousands of people have been changed and influenced as a result of this church based in this location, changing and transforming lives in Eastbourne and beyond. So what's happening? Well, we're staying in this building. This is our home. This is where we're staying for the long-term future. We've decided that as team. And now we want to consider how do we best use it in line with the vision that God has called us to. So you may realize that this home needs future proofing. Like I said earlier, it's like a giant plastic bag. And when you turn on the heating, heat just evaporates out through the roof and through the walls. So we are now considering how do we make this building much more energy efficient for the long term? There's two ways to do that. Number one is to redo the roof. We want to clad it, we want to insulate it, and we want to ensure that actually we're then able to fix solar panels onto the roof to make sure that actually we're not just paying for electricity, but we're producing our own electricity, which wouldn't it be amazing if all of a sudden then we can become electric neutral into the future. The second thing that we need to consider is insulating our walls. Those things will make a huge difference to the amount of energy that we spend here in this building doing all that we do. Both of those things we have received quotes for, and we're expecting that both to be around 300,000 pounds. 300,000 to clad the walls, 300,000 pounds to redo the roof. And then we're looking at an additional 170,000 pound in order to fix some solar panels for us. They're initial quotes that we've received. So church, hear those numbers. You see that that's gonna be a 750,000 pound long-term investment into this building. It's going to be a way of future-proofing the resource that we have to ensuring it as a long-term asset available for us to be able to live out the vision that God has called us to. But not only will it be something that will future-proof, it will start to make immediate differences in the annual budgets that we have here as a church. For example, consider those £170,000 to fit solar panels on the roof. At the moment, we spend about £50,000 estimated a year on our electric costs. That will only take us three and a half years to pay back that investment. And then all of a sudden, that money will be saving us into the future. Not just to pay back, but to release resources to invest in the things that we really believe about as a church. We believe in people and we believe in planting churches. That investment will enable us to save long-term and to also protect our home. <laughs> protect it and keep it as a resource that we can keep using here in this local community. We are called to be an Antioch church. We're called to be a church that releases leaders, that makes disciples, that proclaims the gospel, that plants churches, that partners with others, that transforms the world here in Eastbourne and the wider community in which we live in. We long to do that. We are hoping that we can begin some work next summer. We would love to do it when the weather's good, when we can replace the roof, when we can clad the outside of the building, and then when we approach the winter of 2023, we already have a much more energy efficient building and those savings can be made immediately. So if work begins next summer, we're gonna need some money in order to be able to do it. Like I said earlier, we are so grateful for people giving immediately into the Love Eastbourne Fund now, but we would love you to start considering money that you could give into the new year towards the investment into our walls and into our roof and into this building as our long-term home and as our resource. We have already saved £100,000 over the course of the last few years towards this work. So there's only £650,000 to go only 650,000 pounds. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an adventure. It's gonna be a call of faith once again. But this church has always responded to the calls of faith. 
What could we do about it? Well, we could take out a mortgage. Again, that's gonna be fun, looking at how mortgage rates are increasing at the moment, but let's see. We hope that once things have settled into the new year, we'll have a clearer picture about the resources and the loans that we may be able to borrow in order to do some of this work. But before we do so, we wanna come lovingly to you, the church, the men and women that have built this place, the men and women that have invested into the fabric of who we are. And we're gonna ask you once again, would you give into all that we're doing? Could God release the finances in and through us as his people in order to do this work? This will mean that we may well need something like £650,000 in order to do so. Like I said, we're already putting money aside within our annual budgets. We already have £100,000 saved. We're going to explore mortgage opportunities. But wouldn't it be a story of faith and adventure if the church could rise to that call? If the men and women of King's Church could give generously once again. We're going to begin that into the new year. We'll probably initially start that in February. And then over the course of the next 12 months, we'll continue to say, could people pledge? Could people give in one-off ways? Could people commit to increasing their regular giving in order to resource the changes that we're looking for? Remember that as leaders a few years ago, God spoke to us. He said, this is your home. Use the building in line with your vision. That's exactly what we're longing to do as leaders. We long to use this building as the resource that it is to change and transform lives, to welcome people into a loving community where they're going to be changed and transformed by hearing the good news of who Jesus is and all that he has done. We as leaders are asking you as the church that we love and that we serve to say, would you partner with us in doing this? Church, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this important financial update. On screen now are a few next steps for you to pray and consider in response to all that you've heard. Number one, why not consider giving into the Love at Eastbourne Fund today? Number two, how about you pray and consider as a family or as an individual how you could give into the redevelopment of the King Centre in 2023? Thirdly, we will take an initial gift day in February of next year. You could give in one-off ways. You could pledge what you can to give at a later date or you could commit to increase your giving by a specific amount towards the building work that we're planning on doing over the next 18 months. Each of these will be options available on our giving page of our website, and you'll be able to find that here once they've been published.